Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Meat. Today in this video I'm going to be watching the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 what I think is official trailers like they seem pretty official they're by Xbox oh uh, yeah so I'm going to be reacting to them it's as simple as that I've been waiting for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 to come out for I don't know like a while and it comes out in about six days comes out on the 18th of August, today is the, uh, I don't know, but it comes out in six days, that's all I care. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, yeah, so we've got a platter cup there, and... Pause it there. Pause it there. Alright, so one thing that you probably would notice about MSFF 20 is the like grass. So you can see the grass there and the so three things I want to mention in this frame. So grass, terrain, and houses. So first one, grass, the Microsoft team has gone ahead and coated every like blade of grass like they've loaded it all into a machine and they've coated them and so yeah they will like sway in the wind and they look like amazing and not many games like have them like as the like normal base package but Microsoft Flight Simulator I've just gone ahead and put it in. And like games like X Plane 11, you would have to buy DLCs to have realistic terrain and stuff. But Microsoft Flight Simulator, they've just put it in. Like, no big deal. Also, the terrain, like if you land on a hill, like the Piper Club just took off, you would feel that, um, that hill. Like, you would have to put an extra thrust to take off and you'll possibly stall taking off like up a hill but if you went if you went uh, down a hill it would be easier because the simulated terrain is looks good and also the houses in the back there so yeah guaranteed your house will be there like it will actually like physically be there they code it in your house so you can like follow roads like exactly the way a house is but like no guarantee i'll be flying to my house and stream a video because i don't want you lot to show up at my front door but i know i'll be doing it a lot in my free time is going to my house landing in the driveway because that's the thing you can do in microsoft flight simulator now Alright, so let's carry on with the video. Oh, yeah. Alright, so those waves, we need some now, but um. So if you change the wind, not only would it affect the waves, but it would affect your plane. So. If you have like the wind up really high then the waves will be big like storm height waves and if you land like a like a water plane I can't remember what it's called but there's a plane that you can land on water and it's designed to do that and it's in Microsoft Flight Simulator but if you land that plane in like high winds in the water then it will like affect the plane and possibly crash it so, uh, yeah, and the wind, like, affecting your plane, uh, you get, like, turbulence. Like, you can get severe turbulence that will rip your plane apart. Your plane will get blown, of course, in a thunderstorm. You end up crashing into a hill. Because Microsoft has coded all that in. Like, they've coded, like, wind to knock a plane, like, out of its path. So that's like a 
crucial step that flight simulators usually tend to miss is like good physics. Like a lot of physics come from the wind and Microsoft Flight Simulator has managed to achieve that. Alright, let's continue watching. Alright, so the live traffic that is actually so if there's a plane flying over your house then like in real life then that plane will be in the game. So it like tracks a plane's radar, basically, and it will put it into the game at the same plane type. Like, so it's for uh, for non-aviation enthusiasts, it's basically hacking the transponder. Well, it's not really hacking, it's them, like, seeing the transponder. The transponder is, like, a way to identify aircraft, so it will show up on air traffic controls computers, which will, like, show them, like, their squawk code, which is, like, a code that they need to land, like a code that's given to them by another air traffic control uh, board. They'll see the airspeed, ground speed, uh, altitude, and what type of aircraft they are. And yeah, so Microsoft will get that those details, put them in the uh, game, and a plane will fly over, like the real like. Like in real life, a plane will fly over and it'll be in the, in the game. Same with weather, so if you turn on live weather, then you can have like, so, say for instance, you're, so there's a thunderstorm over London, like usual. There will actually be, like, a lot of rain, thunder, in London in the game. And that's something, like, other uh, flight simulators don't put in, but Microsoft Flight Simulator has taken the time to put that extra detail in. Also another thing in this frame, just look how good the airport looks, because there's 37 registered airstrips and airports in the world. Microsoft have, for the most part, like hand um, modeled every 37,000 airports. So they've run it through the computer, they've gone, drawn the like where it's supposed to be, and then they've fixed it up, modeled it, and just put it into the game. So that is something extra that they've put in, which is a really good feature. And it'll be good to actually fly out of Canberra Airport and find exactly like where things are. Alright, so let's continue watching the video. <laughs> Alright, so we've seen the sound, we've heard the sound, and there's people in the bit of the video. So, the sound, a lot of uh, flight simulators like X Plane 11 tend to miss the sound. Like the sound quality in those other games, they're just bad. Like, they're really bad sound quality. So, Microsoft Flight Simulator has actually gone into the into all the other all the planes in the game and they've like recorded like every switch uh, uh, control in the plane from inside the cockpit outside they've done the flaps from the outside and the inside landing gear etc etc and they've actually like added 
thousands of sounds into the game that will make it sound really good. Also, another thing is the people. Uh, if you want, like, ground crew and ground crew vehicles, like pushback tugs and food trucks, like, say, for instance, X-Plane 11. Like, I'm not picking on X-Plane. It looks like a good game. But they... But you need to, like, download DLCs to have ground crew in it. Yeah, but Microsoft Flight Simulator, again, has a... Uh, just included that for free. Alright, let's continue. Oh, that's 747, actually. Alright, yeah. So, that is a really cool trailer, actually. Also, another thing they have added is uh, they've gone and they've simulated like a lot of physics, like actual physics. So, if a gust of wind from a mountain came and hit your right wing, then your left wing would dip down and you would start to stool, like in a small aircraft. So, so a lot of physics actually come from that, and flight simulators miss that. And yeah, so X plane they don't have very good physics. That's because it was like the wind air flow coming off the airfoils affecting planes and all that. And Microsoft Flight Simulator has simulated that well. Uh, it looks like a very good game. Also, they're not telling me to say this. Like, I'm not even sponsored by them, but it just looks like a good game. Also, like, if you fly over Africa or something, you would see, like, a herd of elephants walking over a mountain or something. You could fly around a herd of giraffes. Or if you go to Australia, then you could probably see a bunch of kangaroos jumping around a field. Jumping from fences. Traffic. So, you would see, like, a bunch of cars. Like, it would simulate what traffic is, like, in your area, like... Not like live traffic, like the actual planes, but like average traffic in your area, you would see that. So yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you're excited for Microsoft Flight Simulator, then make sure you uh, comment like what you want to see me do in MSFS 2020. Yes, yeah, so, so yeah. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.